the previous video we set up mobility for MDM and MAM. In this video we're going to put up, uh, we're going to set up Microsoft Store for Business, which is going to be retired later this year or early next year, 2023. But it's what's uh, needed right now. So we'll see how valid this video be in the future. So we go into um, Intune or Microsoft Endpoint Man Manager Admin. We go to Tenant Administration. Here under connectors and tokens, we have Microsoft Store for Business. It's not set up. So let's enable that. First, you will need to sign in to associate your Microsoft Store for Business account with Intune. Okay, let's open that. Mention here it will be uh, uh, retired. So I'll log in with my uh, Azure account. And yes, first quarter of uh, 23. So here is our uh, shop. So I could shop for our group and actually we will need the company portal is a nice one. So let's start with that. Company portal. There it is. Strange it's uh, ranked so low, like this one. So let's get this app. So we accept this one and now we're shopping this app for my organization. Perfect, thanks for your order. Now we have bought that. And we have that unlimited. So you can, we can create uh, collections and uh, add this if we wanted to have a uh, special collection, can have GBN uh, standard uh, programs or, or apps maybe. And we can add company portal to that. Not really needed. We can shop more and there are other things to do. You can manage. This is a bit legacy. But we can see now I don't have any devices in here. And this is a different console. But we are we should be good here. Let's go back and see. Now this is enabled. We have open. Let's, uh, let's say we want it for English. That's fine. So we have sign in, we have done this part, let's save this now. So this can take a bit of time. It does say we're not set up, but let's uh, try to sync this because we have purchased company portal. And where will this show up? Let me open a new tab for apps. I need to sign in, I'll skip the 14 days. I think in next video, we're gonna set that up. So under apps, we have no apps at all. So hopefully after we have synced, it will come up company portal and we will be able to deploy that app. So let's sync. Sync will take some time and it actually says not set up even though it should be set up. So it's probably gonna take some time. Um, Okay, so it shows now as active and uh, the only thing I went, I just went away and went back to Microsoft Store for Business and then show active. And this is uh, first, uh, so has not synced. It put this as a default uh, time. That's like uh, day zero for internet. So let's try to sync again. We already put sync. This will take some time. So I'm, gonna, I'm coming back once this one has synced. Okay, so I'm waiting for the sync for more than 47 uh, minutes. Uh, and I didn't notice that this status actually says inactive. So let's activate this and see if that helps. So how to go here, I'm just going to activate. So now they are both active. And I added myself to the groups that we created in the earlier uh, uh, video. So how to go there if we are in uh, business store, we go to manage, then we go settings, then we go distribute, and down here, verify that they show active. So let's see if that gives us some more uh, luck. I'll do another sync, just to be sure. Take some time, I'll trust on that.
and now in a few seconds it's actually synced and the app also show up here so we have successfully set up uh, Microsoft Store for Business so now we have set up a Microsoft Store for Business and we can do uh, shopping more we can do a Power BI desktop it's a popular one so we select that one get the app and once we have done that we must again go back to uh, Microsoft Endpoint Manager actually under uh, Microsoft Store for Business and we have to do another sync see if it goes a bit faster this time if power oh now it went a lot faster so now we have Power BI that's for another video but here we could easily deploy this uh, app by going properties and then assign it to uh, all all users or all devices okay so in this video we have set up microsoft store for business see you in the next video